Hello friends and welcome to Python programming. Today I would be teaching you the first chapter in Python programming. But before I proceed, I just want to ask you one simple question. What is programming and why do you need it? Programming is just a set of algorithms that you need to run to run an important task. Let's say for example, uh, we see a lot of things and a lot of softwares in our daily life. Uh, let's say for example a Photoshop or games or any other software. How do these softwares run? These are so complex softwares. These softwares are run on a basic set of instructions. Let me tell, the, you, tell this to you in simple language. Let's say for example you step out from your home and you want to go to your office. How do you do that? You, you need to first know the road as to how, which road do you need to take to go to your office. So step out from your house. You go ahead, take a left, you go ahead, then take a right, two more rights, and then you reach your office. That's just an example. So that's how you reach your office because you need to know where you're going. You need to have instructions as to where you need to go, which road to take, so as to reach your office directly. The same goes with programming. You need to give a set of instructions to your computer. And the computer does not know our language. It has a different set of languages of its own, like Cobalt, Photon and all those things, all those stuffs. That's why. So today I would be starting with programming, which is basically named as Python. Name Python is derived from Monty Python and not from Python, the family of snakes. And this is built by Guido Van Rossum. So let's start with the first chapter in Python programming. So before I proceed, you guys would be asking yourself that why do you need to learn Python programming. There are so many other languages, let's say C, C hash, C sharp, C and all those things. Then why Python programming? Because the reason for that is that it is used for system administration task and it plays a vital role in system security, mostly Linux. Other purposes include such as creating firewalls, even Google uses this Python programming for its own web crawler that is known as spider to search specific things over the web. That's the reason. Python is used for programming, for gaming, for searching out different text and videos over the web to create a filter for spam messages that you get across your email. So the question that you need to ask that where is this programming not used rather than asking where is this programming used? And the second question is why Python? The reason for that is because if you compare it to C, C Sharp or C++, Java, JavaScript, Python is very simple, very flexible as compared to any other language. It's very easy to compile and execute. That's the reason. If you see a C or C++ program, it will take around 5 to 6 lines of code to just write a simple hello world program. But if you do the same in Python, it takes hardly one single line of code. Yes, you're right. That's exactly how it is. So let's start with the installation of Python, how we would be installing it. So here is how to install Python programming, Python execution language for there are different operating systems over here, such as Windows, Linux, Unix, even Macintosh and Python does work in all these operating systems. So let's go ahead and first download the, the Python executing variable for this operating system so let's go ahead on www oh sorry it's www.pythonpython.org so when you come over here you will see a downloads option over here you can see different versions for windows 3.4.2 and 2.7.9 so the question that you would be asking is that which one do you need to learn Python 2.7.9 and Python 3.4.2 both are two different program. It's not two different programming languages. It's just they're a bit different when it comes to their command. Let's say for example, if you take Python 2.7.9, it uh, in order to give you some kind of input to the user, you just use an input and it has a different raw underscore input for giving out information. But if you go ahead and use it for Python 3.4.2, it won't work because it has just input language, it, it has just the input command and it does not use raw underscore input, that's the reason. 
so uh, if you are using windows then you just go over here click on that and it would start downloading i have already downloaded that one for my windows if you have a macintosh if you are a macintosh user then you can go ahead and download this over here latest python release if you are using linux then you can straight away go ahead and open your terminal you can go ahead and if you're using debian in linux then you need to write apt that's application hyphen get install let me show that for you so when you're going to install if you have a debian package and if you are using any th any other linux package other than kali linux then you need to put this uh, put this in your terminal C S U D O A P T hyphen get space install space python 3.4 this will get you the python application in your environment but if you are using or if you are already having a python programming language python installed in your operating system then you need to go ahead and type s u d o a p t get upgrade python 3.4 and whatever you have it will get upgraded to the latest version and just so that you know what this uh, what this command means it's that s u d o means super user do just we as we have administrator in windows the same way linux has its own administrator which is known as super user and you need to have root access in order to do that so super user do application get install python 3.4 that is if you have a debian package if you have a rpm package then of of linux then you need to go ahead and download an dot rpm with a, that extension from that website that's www.python.org and once you have installed you need to copy it to your root folder and if you're a linux user you sure do not what a root folder is so once you have that under your root folder and you need to make sure that there are no other rpm packages inside that root folder when you're going to install this otherwise it will just create a mess so once you have copied that in your root folder go ahead and open the terminal go to that directory cd period period it's the way that you do that go ahead and type this command that's rpm space hyphen hyphen install space asterisk period rpm if you already have that package and you want to upgrade it rpm space hyphen hyphen upgrade space asterisk period rpm and it will, will get it automatically under your system so once you have installed python 3.4 in your system okay wait there is another thing which i need to tell you before we proceed you also if you ask me you should also install python 2.7.9 which we have which i just showed you on the website the reason being that as soon as i will be proceeding with the course i will giving you some examples which would also build it to 2.7.9 because as of now 2.7.9 is much more used than to 3.4 the reason being that let's take an example of a company your company is running windows xp for a long period of time and suddenly you see a new version that is windows 7 coming into the market but you cannot directly go ahead and uh, take that version because it would cost loads and loads of rupees or dollars to go ahead and get that and install it each and every every computer under your system besides you already have a database which works on Windows XP so it would be very hard for you and very expensive to go ahead and straight away directly transfer to another language that's another operating system it's similar with Python if you are working on 2.7.9 there are commands vary in Python 3.4 and you cannot directly shift from Python 2.7.9 to Python 3.4 but Python 3.4 is a stable version and it is the latest version that's why you need to go ahead and learn python 3.4 so now i will be showing you how to install this in your system in just a moment so once you have downloaded the package python 2.7.9 and python 3.4.2 it will look something like this to you it would be an msi microsoft installer package ending with the extension msi and now we are going to install both python under my system just click need to click next next and here we would be installing that let's see yep that's right next so here i would be installing python 2.7.9 and while that get installed 
I will also install here Python 3.4.2. Okay, yeah, it needs that. So we'll just stay here for just a moment.